So we are given the equation of a circle and the coordinates of a point. This point is supposed to be on the circle and our job is to find the equation of the tangent line drawn to the circle that passes through this particular point. Basically this must be the point of tangency. So let's just sketch a picture before we start. So the center is 4, 9 and the radius, square root of 40 is a little bit, 40 is a little bit after 36, right? So the radius is 6 and change. Point P would be somewhere here, right? We can and we should check. So if we substitute x equals 10 and y equals 11 into the equation of the circle, we get that 10 minus 4 is 6, 11 minus 9 is 2, and 6 squared plus 2 squared is 36 plus 4, that is 40. So this point indeed is on this circle. We're going to have to find the equation of this tangent line. Now to find a line, all we need is a point and a slope. And we do have a point already, right? The point of tangency must be on the tangent line. So all we need is a slope. And for the slope, we're going to exploit the following fact. The tangent line is always perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. So if we connect these two points, there is going to be a right angle here. This is going to be perpendicular. Why is this useful for us? Because we know both coordinates of these two points, therefore we can find this slope. Using the slope formula, we have 11 minus 9 divided by 10 minus 4, which is 2 over 6, which is 1 third. You know, when we compute the slope, the most dangerous spot is, is the sign of the slope. That's why it's good to have a picture, because the picture will protect us from that error. It does look reasonable that this slope should be 1 third. Now, the slope that we're looking for has to be, because they are perpendicular, the negative reciprocal of one-third. So our slope is negative three. And again, the picture kind of guides us, protects us from sign errors. And so now we know the tangent line has a slope of negative three, and it goes through the point 10, 11. And so the point slope form of the equation would be negative three times x minus 10 equals y minus 11. And if you want to get the slope intercept form, we're just going to distribute the negative 3 and add the 11. So we're going to get y equals negative 3x plus 30 plus 11 plus 41. Thank you for watching.